today for Meatless Monday again, we're gonna be doing green enchiladas made up with only cheese on the inside. That's why it's gonna be meatless. There's a lot of people that don't know how to make salsa or the sauce, and there's a lot of people that don't know how to make beans. I don't blame you, I didn't learn until not that long ago. So this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need your cheese of choice, your enchilada sauce, your refried beans, you can either do brown or black, the sour cream, the lettuce, and the onion. Sorry, that was my daughter, a little nasty. Okay, so this is the things that you need for sure. I usually make them with rice as well, but my girls don't really care for rice, so I'm not gonna make rice this time, but you can also add a side of rice to this. Let's get started. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna cut up pieces of this And we're gonna do thin little slices because I like to kind of like fry a little bit of the onion into a, a small pan with a little bit of oil. Where we're gonna, again, fry these beans. It just takes away the, the canned bean flavor to me. So that's what I do. I toss some onions into some oil, saute them really quick, and then I add the beans. While your onions are sauteing, you can go ahead and start dicing up some onion for the top of your enchiladas. So you take out the onion and you pour in your beans and just mash them together so that they become flat, you know, and it doesn't look like they're in a can still after you take them out. So you flatten it out a little bit. I obviously know how to make homemade beans, but I'm just showing this recipe for those of you that either don't know how to or just don't have the time, you know? But like me, I wouldn't be able to make refried beans right now because, like homemade, because just got off work and my girls need to eat dinner. So this would be perfect for a mom that works and needs to come home and cook. So while um, the beans are doing everything over here, oh, by the way, I added a little bit of water to change the consistency. I like them to be a little bit more softer than they become. Okay, so while the beans are doing their thing, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna start lightly frying our tortillas. Been hot yet? We have to kind of wait until it's a little hot and then we're gonna fry our tortillas. It's probably like I don't know 40 seconds on each side. Then you flip it over and you start with a new one. So after you did your stack of lightly fried tortillas. You're gonna open your chili sauce. I got one in hot picante and one in medium. Hot picante. Medium, where is it? Medio? <laughs> All right. So I got both of these just to not make it too, too um, spicy or not too non-spicy. What can you say for that? I don't know. So with a little bit of the oil left over from frying the tortillas, you're just gonna put it into the oil. We're gonna blend it all together. We're gonna let that boil for a little bit. Meanwhile, we can go ahead and um, grate our cheese. Okay, so what I do so that it's not so hard to grate, I 
cut a piece from the block. And then that's what I use little by little. If I need more, then I'll cut a bigger piece. But if not, then this is perfect. And I love using this cheese because it has the pepper in it. And I really, really love it. It's so good on quesadillas. It's good to put on top of your salad. Oh my God, and I love putting this. It's gonna sound a little weird maybe, but I love putting it on top of fideo. Like, um, even on ramen, I love putting it on there. I just love cheese. If I can have cheese every day, I'm pretty sure I would. And I kind of do because I have string cheese in my fridge that I eat often. Just go ahead and grate enough to put inside of your enchiladas. Okay, so I got it to boil. Now what I do every time I make enchiladas is I grab a little bit of the chile sauce and I just like drizzle it on the bottom of the plate or on the top of the plate. And then I grab the tortilla. One, two, and then I put it on the plate. And then I add the cheese. And then I just roll it off. And I set it to the side and I do the same to the next. After I rolled up a few, I grab a little bit more of the sauce and I just put it on top of this. toppings which will be the lettuce if you like, the sour cream if you like, and the onion if you like. Chata that you guys saw in that glass next to the plate of the enchiladas is not homemade either. It is actually store bought. It's powder. One tablespoon makes one glass. So this stuff really saves your butt. Like if you just want something really quick and easy again for the working mom or the student, this is gonna save your butt. This video is going to save your butt. It's going to save you time and it's going to be so yummy. Obviously it's not as bomb as homemade stuff but it will certainly do. Anyways, thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoy. Follow her on every kind of social media she has. She's the best at taking pictures. <laughs>